So if you've ever wondered why some people find Valorant like completely unplayable while others have the game running with no issues, uh, the reason's simple, it's just uh, different people have different modems. The problem is easy to check for it, and the problem is easy to solve. Uh, the solution costs money, and the issue is intentionally underreported, widespread systemic consumer manipulation, perpetuated by Intel, almost all modem manufacturers, and of course, Daddy Bezos. Oh my God. Also, I'm gonna use nerd words, and the shit is going to piss you off. Now, for any of this to make sense and see how it relates to why Valorant runs so poorly, I'll have to give you a quick crash course in some networking terms and the definitions of them. Latency is how long each network operation takes to accomplish. A typical web page takes 20 to 100 plus operations to complete before it's done loading. So how long each operation takes adds up and dominates your experience. Now, jitter is how much latency jumps around. So if latency varies radically, jumping from like one second to as low as one millisecond for each operation, then it has high jitter. Jitter makes the internet experience random and frustrating. For some applications like gaming, it's... Now, until mid-2017, latency and jitter have not been tested during chip design or manufacturing. Modem and router manufacturers have not tested for it. ISPs have not tested for it. There's not even a standard for testing. Cable Labs, the industry standards body, did not even think about including it in any standard. So yeah, this has led to manufacturers and ISPs just ignoring this issue completely and performance of many things on the internet today suffer from this malady. Some chip makers have hidden latency and jitter issues from common tests that are in use by consumers and even ISPs, and Bing cannot be used reliably to test for latency or jitter. So this gross oversight has led to a really horrendous performance issue that got deployed to like millions of users on ISVs all over the world. And what I'm about to show you here, the red is complete packet loss or, you know, loss of data in simple terms. This chart shows that the Intel Puma chip has trouble with just tiny streams of data at only 0.2 megabits per second. Now, keep in mind that the average amount of data the Valorant game client is sending is about that much, so even higher if you're running at very high FPS, but you know, once you include the logs from Vanguard, that's when things get ridiculous. And they upload like every two minutes, and they're known to take from one to three megabytes per second to upload. So yeah, that's complete saturation and your packets are fucking toast. Basically, all you need to know is I'm showing you a big ass list of modems right now that are just dog shit. And if you have any of them, it's probably what's causing the problem. And then I'm gonna include links in the description as to where to get, you know, modems that aren't dog shit. So yeah, hopefully it helps.